Ooh. When I say Q, you say mil. Q! <laughs> mil. Q! Mil. Wow, you're great. <laughs> you're a great audience. I want to tell you first why everybody is so crazy about quantum. Because quantum computers use at the hardware level individual quantum states to solve problems. If you know how to do it and you have a perfect machine, it will allow us to solve problems that we can never solve otherwise. Never. Not even with the fastest supercomputers on the planet today or in 100 years from now. That's the most exciting thing about quantum computers. And that's why money has been flowing into the field. Governments have been investing tens of billions globally to develop quantum technology, and especially quantum computing and computers. The annual revenue of the quantum computer industry is already more than a billion, with a 30% growth. This is driven by the governmental um, investments. However, our perception is that when the industry starts to take advantage over quantum computers, this growth will accelerate significantly. The problem is that with the known algorithms, it will take a dozen years to get commercial quantum advantage because the hardware needs to develop to be so good. So we established QMIL exactly to accelerate this inflection point. For you not to need to wait for a dozen years, but just a few years, a couple of years. <clears throat> and when we were thinking about the first use cases, the easiest problems that quantum computers could bring advantage in, we started to look at verification. Cloud verification, which means that when you are accessing a quantum computer in the cloud, for ex typically, rare, rarely you have money to buy your own quantum computer. Most people are using in the cloud. And because these quantum computers now are at the verge of being <clears throat> useful, you don't necessarily know whether you are actually accessing a real quantum computer. And you want to know because quantum computing time is quite expensive, much more expensive than supercomputing time. So you don't want to be spoofed. We were looking at these promising algorithms for quantum verification, and we actually could bro break the protocol, the best protocol that we could see. And so basically, we could spoof a quantum computer with our mobile phone. And because we understood how the protocol failed, we could fix it. So now we have a very promising application. We want all the users of quantum computers to use this verification protocol in the future that we will develop. So what can quantum computers be used for? Well, the main advantage of quantum computers is that they can uh, co solve computational problems that are totally intractable for classical computers or for any powerful supercomputer that we know of. We see th that the first benefits of quantum computing will be in optimization in industrial cases. In optimization, you would often form a cost function and you would try to find a minimum of that cost function. And the advantage of quantum computing is that it can find this minimum or the optimum in a very large and complex uh, search space. Quantum computers obviously find the minimum uh, optimum faster. Uh, it'll be cheaper for the uh, user. You will use less electricity. And in fact, quantum computing is sustainable technology because quantum computers use much less electricity than supercomputers. Quantum computers are smaller. They use less materials, and they also use less chemicals. We think that re quantum algorithms will solve concrete problems in industrial segments. And we are talking to companies in all of these sectors. In financial technology, we're talking to finance, cell institutions, and banks, and uh, discussing about use cases related to portfolio optimization and credit risk rating. Also, in telecommunication networks, you need to optimize the hardware and software capacity and when you plan, uh, for example, cellular networks. 
in energy networks, you would likewise plan the capacity of production and storage of energy. In logistics and distribution, you would try to minimize the route length uh, or the, uh, ultimately the amount of fuel consumed. And security and defense is a, uh, an area of growing in interest, especially for Finland. And uh, we can provide advantage in uh, uh, <coughs> providing situational awareness from sensor data as well as uh, detecting threats from signal data. Here is a example of what our tech team came up with. So we have developed something we call a binary quantum Miller algorithm for optimization. This is optimizing these kind of binary problems. So you have like yes or no decisions or, or bits zero or one. And our algorithm turned out to be very fast in solving some problems. Uh, for example, we can go to 1,000 different decisions which pairwise depend on each other in a complicated way and we can still find the optimal solution, the global optimal solution for this in less than a minute. And then we can go to even higher sort of order correlations in these yes and no decisions. For example, if five, all five groups of decisions depend on each other, we can still solve this in a couple of hours with 144 variables or decisions. Um, just to show you a use case or like a, to demonstrate why we think this is a great algorithm for some of these use cases that Hannu was mentioning is that we used this, for example, in this problem. Um, so a couple of months ago, um, Kipu Quantum was showing that they have developed a new type of a quantum optimization scheme that can solve a problem uh, that is like a tree three correlation problems, so somewhere between these two lines. And they could beat all these algorithms they were benchmarking against with their quantum computer. They were using an IBM quantum computer for this. So they could find almost the optimal solution. The black one is the optimal solution, and that's what they found. Better than the benchmark algorithms they used. Well, we put the same problem in our binary Miller algorithm and run 1,000 different instances of the problem. Every single instance we could solve in less than seven seconds. So this just sort of highlights that there is, we have developed a very good optimization algorithm that we think can be useful in the future. We have an exceptionally strong founding team, myself, uh, I'm the CEO. Uh, my background is from Nokia. I was previously the CTO of Nokia's technology and patent business. Uh, I spent 26 years in Nokia Corporation, basically scaling technology from research to products and business. Ville Kotovirta, our CTO, comes from VTT, where he worked a long time in AI and uh, software project, leading software project, and he also founded the quantum algorithm team at VTT. Mikko, my colleague, is our chief scientist. Uh, he is also uh, a, a full professor of quantum technology at Aalto University. And Tony Annala, our chief algorithm engineer, is an awarded mathematician. He's also a lecturer at the University of Chicago. Uh, we're currently a team of 13 people altogether. We're hiring uh, very fast, growing the team. We closed our seed round in uh, June. Uh, we uh, raised 4 million in seed funding, and we also secured a 1 million grant from Business Finland. We have a runway of approximately three years to develop the uh, algorithms that provide the quantum advantage. Maki, VC is our lead investor, Andler is our other investor, and Quantid is, uh, is also an investor that joined the group and provides us contacts in the industrial space. We thank you very much for your attention. Stay tuned for future updates, and we would be very interested to discuss with in investors about future founding rounds. And shall we say Q Mill one more time? <laughs> I say Q, you say Mill. Yeah, thanks All for right, your attention. Thanks. Cheers.